Okay, I'm having a conversation with Boban, and he was going to illustrate some of the work that we did to be able to, if I'm not mistaken, Boban, we were looking at generating customer price lists, which is sort of a demanding capacity inside NetSuite. NetSuite offers one, but it's rigid in the way it works. Boban effectively cracked the nut on this, and so I was trying to understand what his breakthrough was. Do, do, I, do I understand you correctly, Boban? Right. Yeah. The, the, the native one is wonderful in many ways, but there's no ability to modify it in any way. We can't script at it. We can't, you know, whatever options it presents, it presents. And this client wanted one particular feature that was very important to them that could not be done with a native list. So they asked me essentially to be able to produce the same thing as NetSuite, which means dealing with all of the complexities of, say, price level, customer-specific pricing, as well as quantity discount. So because they use all of those features, and so they want to be able, able to produce a customer price list that understands all of those things, but has one particular setting, a checkbox, if you will, on off, that cannot be done with the native. So that's, I had to figure out how to extract all of the correct pricing information for all of those situations that they wanted was if a customer was not using the the standard, the retail price level, if they were a different price level, they wanted the ability to show the customer, hey, here's the retail price, but here's your price. Mm. So both of those side by side mm-hmm. and to be able to turn that on or off as they're generating the price list. And so for that reason alone, they asked to build a customer. Okay. And before we take a look at it, just to understand what we may look at here, how many items might be on this report that a customer would get just in this client right. database? Well, right. But I mean, it's, it's all the items in their database. And, you know, I recently ran a sample and it was something like 40 pages. So 40 know, pages. Okay. So, really thousands of items. Right? Okay. It can be thousands, right? Because sometimes what happens here is in a large data set, it becomes also a different kind of concern. Terrific. Okay. Uh, great. If you're prepared to maybe show your screen, but that's a great opening. Yeah. So I'm going to pick a customer that I know um, has this. So if we don't turn this, I'll, I'll run it first as the default. And by the way, they wanted to be able to send the customer a PDF, a CSV, or an Excel file, an actual Excel file. And then HTML was more used when they just wanted like a quick analysis on the screen. I'll use PDF just because it's, it's uh, more visually pleasing, if you will. All right. So when we run this, so here's the this report, right? you know, with their header and so on. And so you see the items. And then if there is quantity level discounts, then you see those quantity breakpoints here. Ah, okay. So, right. So, so do that I understand way, correctly, that... the, first, the first nine would be 37.93, or I'm looking at the one that, I'm sorry, the one that's, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, that one there. And then 10 or more would be 970. Well, really in this case, price they have the there. same price, right? But that's just, that's just what, what they happen to have. They didn't uh, specify a discount but apparently on many of them. But yes, otherwise it would be presenting the different price uh, prices at which a discount would be available. So this is just a reflection of just how their database is set up. But if the exactly. database is, yeah, okay. Exactly, right. So, so this is standard. And of course, you have to do it this way because the price level, or I'm sorry, the discount quantity points can be different from item to item. On one item, you set it at the 0, 10, 20. On another one, you set it at 0, 100, 300. So you couldn't really go cross because the columns would all be different. Yeah, right? but to- but this totally works because it can grow to- dynamically as necessary. Exactly, exactly. And then, so this is, I picked this customer because they are not on the retail price level. So okay. if we turn this feature on now, the only difference is we will get an additional column that compares their price with the retail price. So here's the retail price, here's the price they get. Got it, wow, okay. Okay, and so and if, if, we, if we wanted to, we could easily do more math if we wanted to show differences or things like that. It, it's all yeah. within the control. Exactly. And here we also see they are not getting, because they're getting a special price, that's why there's no difference at the quantity level. If they were getting the retail price, there oh. would be a quantity. That, they, oh, but you can see it already there. greater. Okay, exactly. now you can really see that they're just their standard retail. They are having the tiers in there. That's why this one doesn't have that. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Exactly. Exactly. That, does, that makes a yeah. lot of sense. Okay. Yeah. So, and of course, you know, once once we sort of crack how to get all these numbers, how they are in that suite are stored, now we we could present any other options on the screen that the customer might want. Okay. In their case, this was the only option they wanted. 
So we could present, you know, all kinds of other features in here. Okay. Just out of curiosity, and this might be too big, but if, if we were to look at it as HTML right now, would it, would it render or is it too big of a list? Yeah. We use data tables. Oh, there you go. Okay. So it's very easy to understand. Basically, the output then somebody would, if they wanted to distribute it, this is easily things they could update, but they would just save it locally, I guess, and then do the distribution. But those are easy things to add. Exactly. Yeah. Because PDF, CSV, HTML are the one, the ways that they generally distribute. Because okay. Because I'll call them and ask them, I want to price this. Right? Okay. So, so if the if the customer had what we call client specific pricing, do would it pick this up? Yeah. Yeah. This this incorporates that as well. You wouldn't see you. It, there's no way to know that this item has customer specific pricing, but it would be incorporated here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Is the breakthrough that you had in the relationship to the fact that we could now use Sweet QL for you to do your inquiries? Because this exactly. was always very tough to do in Save Search. Exactly. It was just understanding where this data is in SQL, how is it stored, particularly when you get to quantity discount and price levels and so on. So understanding all of those aspects in SQL and breaking it down. Yep. And if they had their price levels, which is often reflected as percentages off the list price, it would it's going in and it's getting the value. Yeah. Came back pretty quick. So in other words, part of this was just understanding how to navigate. Exactly. SQL, of course, is very fast. I just said they have about 11 or 1,200 items. So it's not a massive database. And, you know, really in SQL, whenever you're querying less than, certainly less than 5,000, generally the queries come back lightning fast. Of that, sometimes it can get a little more complicated. And then this tweetlet basically, it ran all the queries and then assembled it all together. Like, for example, when I get to here, do they have a custom price in that case, I'm going to show that rather than what the price level says and so on. So the logic inside the suite list has to know what's the priority of the price, right? Uh, if they have a customer price, that is the price they'll get regardless of their price level. Got it. Okay. So, so it's is it fair to say that as you're querying all the data, there's more complexity in how they set it up for the customer? You've, you've gotten that data and then you have to have the right priorities of expressing it because of what the customer would get. Exactly. I, I have that logic in the street list. I gather all of it. Okay, here's the data price levels. Here's the customer price level. Here are the quantity discounts. Here's the custom price for that customer. Get it all and then present it correctly. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like this would be fairly easy to distribute now to our other to our existing clients. Yeah. I mean, even this flag here is not anything particularly unique who's there set up. So yes, th this solution could put the door almost be used by anyone. And then we could add other options as I said, if the customer has some specific needs. Wow, okay, that's terrific. Okay, I look forward to helping other people in the community understand uh, what this is. And my suspicion is, is that there will be requests for various enhancements, but it sounds like the hard work's been done. Exactly.